All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Shogun Fight 7, bringing you our main event, Kayla Ball versus Frank the Tank Lester. Uh, I know Frankie Lester is from Ultimate Fighter Season 9, like everybody else does. Uh, I know he's a, he has a heavy right hand. He's a heavy hitter. I know most of his wins are by knockout. I know that me and Caleb are going to have a good fight. I know he's aggressive, and, you know, he's mostly a wrestler. So, you know, you can expect him to shoot and me to knee him in the face. The outcome of this fight is going to be, <laughs> I say it has a good potential to be fight of the night. I think we're both going to go hard. Uh, we both need this win and want this win really badly. My game plan for tomorrow night is to beat Caleb's ass. Here we go, getting ready to kick off the main event of the evening, Frankie Lester versus Caleb Ball. Frankie looking ready, and now here we go to our ring announcer, Nick Ehrlich. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, it is our pleasure to bring you your main event of the evening, brought to you by Atlantic Remodeling. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 foot 11 inches tall and weighed in at 170 pounds. Representing Smoke and Fist Fight Team from Washington, D.C., please welcome fearless Caleb Ball. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands 6 feet tall and weighed in at 170 pounds. Representing Team Ground Control and Jackson's MMA from Baltimore, Maryland, please welcome Frank the Tank Lester. And now to your referee, Dan Merliata, for instructions. All right, guys, been through the rules of the locker room. I want you guys to obey my commands at all time, protect yourselves at all time. Fight clean, fight hard, touch those you want to back it up. Frankie Lester, Caleb Ball. You know, Frankie is a guy who knows one speed and it's forward, you know, trying to take your head off. So I've seen Caleb fight, uh, been super impressed with this guy. I saw him fight in uh, Argentina, actually. Wow. And uh, the kid went there, was dominated in the first round, brought it back in the second round, finished his opponent in the third round. I knew against a guy like Frankie, we needed a guy to come in here who would not just buckle under the pressure. Absolutely. And um, I'm hoping that Caleb is that guy. You know, Frank Lester is an ultimate fighter legend. I mean, the guy got several teeth knocked out in his first fight, right. asked to come back to win his second fight, and then rematch the guy um, who had beaten him in the first fight, uh, who ended up winning the show, uh, James Wilkes. Um, so this guy's toughness is legendary. And again, Caleb is a guy who isn't psyched out by that. You know, he's not going to let uh, the legend of Frank Lester beat him before he gets in there, uh, catches an eye poke here. But, you know, he landed the first punch of this fight. He's not shying away uh, from this striking exchange. Nah, very tough kid. And, yeah, legendary toughness. I mean, when you have your front teeth knocked out, they're stuck in your mouthpiece, and you just swap mouthpieces and continue to fight. I think it says something about your uh, your toughness. Yeah, you know, what's that old uh, Western line? There's a fine line between crazy and stupid. <laughs> but uh, no, again, Frank, and, and again, Frank is an awesome guy, uh, a guy I've actually worked out with, real nice guy, um, and just loves to fight, man, loves to get in there and bang. And, uh, you know, he wants opponents who are going to do the same thing. The guy wants to fight, he wants to punch, and he wants to put on a show. Yeah, Caleb's a guy that's well-rounded. Um, while he is... You know, comes from a wrestling background. Um, his hands are are, are are solid. I've seen him, like I said, I've seen him fight before. Uh, he is willing to stand up there and throw. And his hands are are, are solid. I mean, he'll throw tight sure. combinations. You know, he's not a guy that's just going to be out there winging. And I got to tell you, uh, as a kid who grew up in the Washington, D.C. area, there's not a ton of MMA uh, in the district. And so to hear that Caleb's down there opening up a school and helping to spread the sport uh, in the district is, is really exciting for me uh, being a D.C. suburbs kid. Oh, nice yeah. left hand. Yeah, I mean, it's a kid. He's 8-3 and three as a pro. You know, sure. This guy's not a stiff, and he's fought on some... Uh, you know, decent shows. So I was excited to get him up here. I think he's a very tough opponent for Frankie. Uh, you see that Frankie's respecting him because he's not just trying to blast through him. He's stalking and picking his shots. Yeah. And when he comes in, Caleb's making him pay. And, you know, Caleb's coming back with punches and kicks. I'm not convinced that one is getting the better of the other at this point. Yeah, me either. But again, Caleb Ball, like, really impressed with his composure. Frank Lester, though, noticeably larger. 
Um, just a, a very big, strong guy. And uh, Caleb just doesn't seem bothered. Nice punch by Frank. Caleb looking for that single. Sure. You know, it doesn't take long. Nice. Wow, good double. Nice takedown. Looking to pass. Frank needs to let that head go and yep. uh, establish his guard. He's in half. Let's see what Caleb can do with this. <laughs> I'd be interested to see the last time Frank Lester was picked up like that. Yeah, right. Uh, I think that probably had to be a bit of a shocker. Yeah, Frank, he has pretty solid takedown defense, so, you know, makes that takedown all the more impressive. I mean, the guy trains at Jackson's. Here he uh, is, back up. Yeah, gets up, but the guy's trained with the best. He's sparred with the best, and so, you know, right away, if you're Caleb, if you're landing strikes and taking him down, that's got to be a huge confidence boost. Here, here he goes. And here's uh, Frank coming this is back. What he, this is what Frankie wants. Nice level change and nice shot. Nice level change, and nice to turn the corner here, on that takedown. And here he is, already cross side. so... Uh, you know, you're seeing Caleb uh, at both ends on his feet and on the ground showing to be a very competent opponent. It's uh, it's great when you see guys, whether it's wrestling, jiu-jitsu, striking, using really crisp technique and hitting things based on that. You know what I mean? That was a great double yeah. leg, drop down, turn the corner, um, and it was just quick and precise. It's always nice when guys go out there with great technique and win fights that way. And yep. he hits uh, Frank on the way out. And there was, uh, you see Donald Cowboy Cerrone in Frankie's corner. Um, he did go out to, uh, you know, Frankie, uh, what do you want to say, uh, Donald's tap out ranch sure. and train there for about a month before the fight. Um, he's been in Columbia at ground control training and teaching some striking classes. So, uh, you know, we're waiting to see uh, how Frankie does here. No, for sure. This guy's got a resume. You know what I mean? He's, he's fought real impressive fights. He's trained with real impressive fighters. And he's, he's spoken of highly by those guys. And Caleb uh, not backing down from these exchanges, even though now he's taking a little bit of punishment. Yeah, and that is he's uh, a guy, I told you again, he's a guy who definitely has a uh, huge heart, will take some torture and, sure. uh, and stay in there and fight. Um, while he was getting a little bit peppered with the hands, he was smart not to stand because he knew if he stood, Frankie's knees were going to follow. Absolutely. And, you know, Caleb Ball, also his wife, oh. expecting another child, so we, we wish him well when he's done with this fight as well. Wow, great head kick by Frankie. And, and, and Caleb's not, uh, not psyched out by it. All right, Frankie's got to start putting those hands up and put these combinations to get a little bit. It, it looks like uh, towards the end here, he's looking for that one big strike, which yeah. against a guy that's tough isn't going to happen. Yeah, I think he's always looking for that one big strike. <laughs> it's not a bad thing to look for because, you know, you will occasionally find it. Uh, you know, you got to give that first round to Frankie in the end. He did a little bit of a, a little bit more punishment, even though he got taken down a couple times. Here's the impressive takedown again by Caleb. Uh, great level change again. Great takedown. Frankie. Heard him with that body kick. Yeah, he definitely, man. Frankie, everything Frankie throws is with bad intentions. Yep. All right, second round. Let's see uh, if Lester can continue to mount this striking attack that started to pick up towards the end of the first round. Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we started seeing Caleb getting a little more antsy to get the takedown. Uh, even if he's not terribly affected by those strikes, I think, you, you know, you classically you want to avoid getting punched in the face really hard uh, if you have the means to do so. Yeah, I think, I mean, and you're seeing Caleb's proven to be a very game opponent, so I'm not impressed by Frankie's power. Uh, he's eaten several shots, and he keeps coming forward himself. So, uh, But I agree with you. Uh, less damage can be done if he's got Frankie on his back. Great one, too, yeah. there. Yep, very nice. And again, goes for a low single that Frankie jumps out of. Literally. Um, you know, I'd like to see both of these guys. Great head kick by Frankie. You know, the way he lobs it up there, it really doesn't matter if your hands are up. It kind of cuts right through it. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's very heavy. He throws it pretty regular, too. Yep. Um, you know, I would think Caleb might try to do something and, and maybe attack when he throws that kick. But, um, you know, right now he's staying outside in Frankie's range, and, uh, you know, he's having to weather the, the bombs that are coming at him. Absolutely. You know, I, I want to see how Frankie's responding to this because it, when you're a, a banger like Frankie is, uh, when a guy doesn't, you know, fold up when you hit him clean, that's something that can damage your psyche, you know what I mean? And if you're the kind of guy who can just keep pressing, you can certainly find success. But nice. if you're the type of guy who starts reevaluating after the guy doesn't fall down when you hit him, you know, that can be a lot of trouble. And Caleb hasn't fallen down even taking strikes like that. Yeah, Frankie's like the Terminator. He just keeps coming and coming and coming and... You know, even when you see a nice, nice take trip. down here, needs to keep him here. 
uh, you know, Frankie obviously wants to be on his feet, so uh, better to keep him here, and you can minimize your damage if you're Caleb. So this is another of several takedowns that Caleb has gotten in this fight, but Frankie's a big, strong, athletic guy, which means that he is going to be hard to submit, and he's going to be hard to hold down on his back. Um, you know, Caleb's doing a great job of pressing here. He's not really looking to pass at all. Uh, he'd probably content at this moment in time to keep Frankie on his back. Frankie. Look at Frank attacking an armbar. Watch out now. Oof. Very right back to his feet. <laughs> Whoa. That's all right. I used to try that trick wrestling in high school, too. <laughs> but all right. And again, you know, Caleb's still looking composed. Uh, that, that right eye is pretty much closed oh. up. It needs oh, a big, big hook. left hook. Frank's looking to clinch here. Yeah, he's looking. I'd like to see both of these guys using a jab set up with their striking. You know, now you see Caleb's face is busted up. Certainly those punches are adding up. But neither of these guys are using a, a real good straight jab or a good two uh, to set up these combinations. And you think that you see a little more straight punches opening up those big hooks, but they both seem content to wing, man. And here they go. Caleb. You know, an excellent combination by Caleb. Um, you know, both of these guys showing the you know, that they're tired here, and I can't blame them <laughs> because God. they're just each eating. Oh, man. Yeah. Jeez. It comes another left. You know, what? what's impressive, too, with Frankie is you know he was tired in the first round, and he just continues to push and continues to press and, sure. and, uh, and keeps throwing bombs. I mean, he could easily just stand there and look at each other. But, uh, you know, again, like I said, this guy knows one speed, and it's basically forward. Yep. And Caleb, being a super tough guy that he is, is just standing right there and firing back. I mean, he's taking everything Frankie has and, it's and answered. Well, now, and he's still standing. But, you know, if you look down by their feet, Caleb is definitely yeah. cut. That eye is closed. Uh, he, I think he's coming out of that nose, actually, which is most likely broken at this point. So he's got to start thinking about how he can stop getting hit by Frank. You know, not getting knocked out is one thing, but not getting knocked out isn't winning fights. Yeah. Well, I think it's part of what you see in MMA as well. Well, you know, I think Caleb's hands are, are, are pretty solid. Sure. But, you, you know, in MMA, while guys' hands are getting solid, it's that footwork and it's that head movement that it takes time to develop. Absolutely. You know, and that art of boxing is being able to hit your opponent and not get hit by him. And that's why MMA fights are so exciting because I think the defense is a little bit lacking and you know, the more punches land, then it makes for more exciting fights for the fans. Yeah, it's certainly sexier, but definitely not doing Caleb's face any uh, favors here. The doctor's checking out this cut. Um, it doesn't look like it's in a bad spot, so probably going to let him go. Uh, <laughs> Frank. Uh, Much needed rest for both guys. Absolutely. You know, and, and Frank looks a little bewildered there. Uh, I don't think he's ever hit a guy this much and had him still be <laughs> in it. It's but Dr., uh, uh, Dr. Stiller and Dr. Ed Sue and. Uh, I'm an Ed Sue fan because it, he's one of the guys that did the study for Johns Hopkins University oh, about sure. mixed martial arts. So I like to give him his props because we did use that in the legalization process when we got uh, you know mixed martial arts legalized here in the state. I'm a fan of him as well. I actually have his rookie card. <laughs> All right, they're gonna let this go. Wow, Caleb Steve, <laughs> cut me, Mick. It's, cut me. <laughs> he doesn't look bothered by this in any way. Uh, yeah, let's get a. Gonna keep Sky, going to punch man, the crap this dude is, is very tough, and uh, you know I want to pat myself on the back for you know doing a scouting job on this guy and knowing wow. that he was going to be here and he was going to throw down. He, I mean, he's he's a real nice gym rat. right hand. He's a real gym rat. He's a real hard worker, uh, and he's a bit like the Black Knight in the Monty Python and the Holy Grail right now. Like uh, <laughs> he's had his face cut. <laughs> My it's arm. just a flesh wound. <laughs> right. Let's keep fighting. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, left hook. Wow. Oh. And you're starting to hear these Another strikes. Left hook. Yeah, everything Frankie throws, man, it's just, uh, it's again, mean. it's it's looking to end you. It's that, uh, it's that incredible dichotomy between such a pleasant guy uh, who throws with such bad intentions. Um, and again, Frank, uh, an interesting kind of stall point here for both of them. Frank uh, needs to, if you know, if I were him, I'd be starting looking to take advantage of the ground. Oh, he's Again, waiting for that knee. smart. You know, he's not trying to get up and get knee in his face. <laughs> That's like not walking out into traffic when you see a bus coming. Hips inside. Comes looking, up with that takedown. Oh, yeah. There's where you see that physical size advantage at this point. Wow. You know, You know, Caleb came in and made that 170-pound weight. Wow. You know, Frankie was a little over, so they had a second weigh in today, which both fighters weighed in at 185. And, uh... You know, I think you're seeing the effects of that right here. Sure. But uh, it's been a war so far, and, uh, 
you know, props to both of these guys for continuing to come forward. Absolutely. You know, this is the kind of fight that, uh, again, Stefan Bonner and Forrest Griffin, two yep. guys who made the UFC really exciting, came in there and had a war, uh, and now uh, embracing, even though the uh, fight is not over. You guys, let's make some noise for these two going to a third round. Yeah, that was a... Uh, oh, that's going to be it. Waved it off. So Caleb's not able to uh, answer the bell for round three. And, and that's a very smart stoppage. Yeah. I mean, he's taken more and more punishment as this went on. I was shut. Um, you know, it's hard to defend yourself if you can't see. Um, you know, Caleb showed his heart. He's out there. Uh, he's, you know, he's put it on the line. The dude's a warrior. Uh, fought a very experienced, very big, very strong Frankie Lester. You see here in the uh, Atlantic Remodeling Instant Replay, I mean, both of these guys were just, uh, you know, slugging it out. I mean, it was a very exciting fight for the fans. Uh, something that people like to see is two guys that are out there willing to bang. Caleb, you know, you can see on his face that, uh, you know, while Frankie wasn't landing huge combinations, when this guy was landing, uh, they obviously counted. Caleb's got a lot that he can look at this fight and certainly work on, uh, but this is definitely one that he can, uh, he can wear this loss pretty proudly as far as heart goes. Ladies and gentlemen, after two incredible rounds, Caleb Ball unfortunately could not answer the bell for the third. Your winner from Baltimore, Maryland, Frank the Tank Lester. Frank, let's talk to you for a minute. Let's get both of you guys. Let's face right here. Let's face right here. Frank, you've got a reputation as being a guy who can come in and slug it out and be in a war. Tell me where Caleb stacks out and guys you fought. That's serious. I, this is 100%. Honest to God, all my life, he's the toughest opponent I've ever had. And I'm a lot bigger than him physically. And he took this fight and stepped up like a man. And on short notice, I thank you, brother. It's the hardest fight I've ever had. Was the game plan to stand and bang and put him out? Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't realize he was going to be this good, honestly. I didn't realize he was going to be this good on his feet. He had good movement, and he never quit, ever. Caleb, we're going to throw it to you for one second. Obviously disappointed you couldn't answer the third round, but it's just an incredible showing against Frank. Any thoughts? I don't understand. I beat the hell out of his hand with my face. Did y'all see that? I thought he was going to tap out. He was tapping on my face, but... I guess they don't, they don't consider that. I'll tell you what, guys. How about a big round of applause for these two? Two unbelievable class acts. And let's make some noise for your winner, Frank the Tank Lester. Here to present the trophy from Atlantic Remodeling, we got Pete Stackpole and Brendan Stackpole. Yeah, I'm sorry about anyone else you want to thank? Hey, real quick, I'd like to thank the most important people in my life. My mom, my dad, they're here watching me. I love you guys, thank you for everything and the support you give me. My girlfriend, my daughter Jordan, my brother Jenny, my, si my, uh, or my brother Sasha, my sister Jenny. I love my family, guys, and that was amazing for me to put on a good show. You got it, guys. Frank Lester, we'll see you guys at Mosaic for Shogun's official after party. Thanks for coming out, you guys. Get home safe, we'll talk to you soon.